Hello, everyone, and thank you for attending Collaborate 2022. I'm Andre, Bright Platform Product Marketer, and your host for today's breakout track, Latest and Greatest, where we talk about core Rike platform capabilities, cover recent updates, and focus on major releases that happen through the year. We share the ideas how to use these powerful features in your environment and how to get most of it. I am very happy to say we have not only Rike speakers today, but our customers and partners are also joining the event and ready to share our mutual success stories. In the next session, we are very lucky to have Medievale, our platinum sponsor, joined by Knut Nelson marketing team to share their experience with both Rike Work Management Environment and Medievale Digital Asset Management Platform. Moreover, our very own Brenda from Rike team joins the conversation in a fireside chat format to discover more about how two solutions work together and bring maximum value. I bet this session gets higher interest and attracts a lot of attendees today. So Samantha, Jonathan, Brenda, welcome and please enjoy the conversation. Hello everyone. Thank you for attending the session with Media Valet and Rike at this year's Collaborate Conference. I'm Jonathan Yim, Senior Partner Manager at Media Valet. I'll be one of your co-hosts for today. We're ecstatic to be this year's platinum sponsor and showcase our amazing story with Knut Nelson, a wonderful mutual partner of ours. Hello everyone. I am Brenda Santuso, the Account Manager at Rike for Knut Nelson. We're so thrilled to have our guest host, Samantha Beckman with us today. Samantha, can you tell us a bit about Knut Nelson and your role? Hello, and thank you for having me. I am Samantha Beckman, Vice President of Marketing for Knut Nelson. I live in central Minnesota on a hobby farm with my husband and our three kids. I went to the University of Jamestown for my undergrad in business administration. I worked at a critical access hospital for six years while obtaining my MBA in healthcare administration online. Our family moved back to Minnesota in 2016, and I started my career at Knut Nelson. So as the Vice President of Marketing, I lead our marketing and digital strategies. Knut Nelson is a nonprofit Christian-based organization in Minnesota and North Dakota. We provide home health care, hospice, senior living, and most recently population health services. Today, we are a team of three and a half in-house marketers, and we contract our outside graphic design, we outsource our copywriting services, and we work with a partner organization to execute some of our digital marketing strategies. Last year, we served over 8,000 clients throughout our continuum of care. To provide a picture of our growth in 2011, we served just over 2,000 clients, growing 263% in 10 years. In addition to care offerings, Knut Nelson also serves in a management and consulting capacity. As a marketing team, we currently manage five brands, 23 sub-brands, four websites, and thousands of assets. Being in marketing and healthcare the past 12 years, years, I've certainly found my passion leading marketing strategies and supporting teams in digital transformations. I'm fortunate to get to research and use digital tools such as Rike and Media Valley. Awesome, excited to have you. How did the how did the team operate and communicate before using Media Valley and Rike? And what were some of the major pain points? Yeah. So starting in 2016, marketing departments were actually still pretty new in healthcare. However, there was a bit of misunderstanding about the role of marketing. It was my goal to transform the philosophy in marketing beyond just advertising or creating a flyer to instead be more focused on driving successful and scalable acquisition and retention strategies. This meant we needed to spend time studying our consumer behaviors and designing an experience to meet their needs. I define consumers as our employees, our referral sources, prospects, community members, and others. Shortly after I started, a simple budget audit showed about 7% of our marketing budget was allocated to digital strategies, leaving 93% allocated to traditional strategies. I knew we had some significant digital transformations ahead. We had to do things differently to be data-driven and scalable. Another challenge was that we were only a team of two in 2019, a marketing manager and myself. We knew that we had to find the right balance of executing existing strategies while also pivoting to be more digital. 
We were trying to communicate with over 75 leaders across the organization through meetings and emails, but also be sure we didn't lose sight of our projects and the timelines. And as we grew, the demands only increased. The challenges were adding up in 2019 as we were fast growing and we were a very small team. We were finding band-aid fixes, but that only led to more challenges. We grew out of our to-do list and we were in need of a true project management system. Additionally, as we grew as a team and as an organization, I was often asked the question, where's your team spending their time and what is your ROI? Well, as much as I thought I could justify and demonstrate with a bulleted list of tasks, I really didn't have any data to justify either of those questions, likely a familiar situation for many of you. This led to our journey of finding the right project management system. I was seeking a solution that would give us insight to where and how our team was spending their time and which strategies and assets were providing the best ROI. I wanted to digitize and automate as much as possible. Alignment was our priority, not only for our own team, but with the sales and the operations teams as well. We recognized that we had several repetitive tasks and we wanted to avoid duplicate work. We didn't have a ticketing system for managing requests, re resulting in a lot of back and forth emails trying to get the right information. We wanted a solution that could give us the information that we needed up front in a request so that we didn't have to search for it afterwards. We wanted to learn in advance who the target audience was, what the budget was, and learn the use case while all, also having an understanding of what the expected timeline was. After months of researching and testing, Wright checked all the boxes that we needed. We launched Wright in October of 2019, and today we know that we couldn't function without it. It's fantastic to hear about the context of how you came to Reich, but I'd love to hear what initiated your search for a digital asset management solution mm -hmm. and what were the top goals you were trying to achieve? Yes, so we found that in asset management and sales enablement were growing challenges for us. For those of you not familiar with an, a digital asset management tool, it's an online centralized platform that enables you to control and manage assets such as collateral, advertising, video, stationery, and throughout their entire life cycle. So at Knut Nelson, being healthcare and HIPAA protected, we were using a private server for all of our documents. Great for security and privacy, however, it was a significant barrier for our outside team members. There were also several challenges as we were searching for documents, sharing documents, versioning, and of course, minimal to no reporting on asset utilization. After looking closer at all of our assets, we were not needing to share any documents with personal health information. We simply wanted to share our product and service collateral library. A must have for us in selecting the right dam was for us, was a user friendly for the end user. Our goal was to make the end user experience as personalized as simple as possible. Access had to be quick and easy for the hundreds of individuals needing access to DAM at any given time. Media Valley checked those boxes for us and so many more. We officially signed our contract with Media Valley in March of 2021. Uh, the implementation team supported us with a mass asset migration in July of 2021 and we began using right away. So Media Valley provides us a single source of truth with the most up-to-date assets always. It is a centralized solution that allows for easy content distribution, sharing, and publishing. The search options are extremely powerful using metadata and custom search options with keywords and attributions. One of my favorite features of Media Valley is an unlimited number of users. We recommend having all of our leaders register for an account, and we've actually predefined user groups set up to assign them to. Yeah, it's, it's great to hear how much Media Val Valley has streamlined your processes. How are you using the solutions today? And, and if you can share your current workflow across Reich and Media Valley. Mm -hmm. So specific to ROI, I would say hands down, it provides the work of two to three full-time employees for us today in terms of automation, reminder bots, blueprints, and most importantly, every action is trackable, measurable, and reportable. So we currently have about 30 plus blueprints, also known as reoccurring workflows, um, and some that trigger over 50 tasks with predefined checklist, assets, owners, and deadlines. We simply deploy and the project is live. So a fun fact about Reich users, since launching with just five on the marketing team in 2019, we now have over 60 users in Reich, including our executive team, our project management team, 
HR, and several others on our operations team, in addition to external project supporters. And specific to the users of Media Valley, after launching, we created a super user group with leaders from each division, and then we spent one-on-one -on -one time with each of them building specific use cases in Media Valley using attributes, safe searches, light boxes, and branded portals. Because of the commitment of this time, we now have our operations teams using Media Valley, our sales teams, our and our project management team. I found the greatest buy-in for our teams came after demonstrating a centralized single source of truth. The relief and excitement from our leaders and frontline workers has been so rewarding to see. Another significant selling point for us was the integration of Reich and Media Valley. Once we felt like we had a good foundation and understanding of Media Valley, we turned on the Reich and Media Valley connector in September of 2021. Our team loves the convenience of it. As soon as an asset is approved through the production process, our team selects the document in Reich and simply uploads it to Media Valley, skipping the previous ways of downloading an asset, saving it temporarily to your desktop and having to re-upload to multiple locations. Thanks for painting that picture. It really gives us a clear idea on how you use these platforms individually and together. Can you explain how your asset management has improved by connecting Reich to a digital asset management solution like Media Valet? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's really simplified how we do things. And I think most importantly, it's really provided credibility to our team for the work that is accomplished. So prior to launching the connector, we actually weren't sharing any of our ad copy outside of the marketing team. Certainly not because we didn't want to, but because we didn't have the resources to do it easily. So it was much too cumbersome of a process to share a PDF to everyone via email, and then for them to have to open each of them individually. So after launching the connector, we now simply upload every asset right from Reich, including all of our traditional and digital ad copy, and then we're able to add attributes, I'll explain those shortly, uh, through the upload process to house everything in Media Valley. So we pre-recorded a training for our end users to set up their filters and save searches to allow them to easily access what assets are relevant to them. This has been a huge win for us, especially for our engagement. And then as it relates to simplifying, we spent a good amount of time prior to go live defining our folder structure. And because of the robust search and filtering options, gone are the days for building a folder structure that are that's 20 folders deep to find something or naming a file so detailed it has 40 plus characters in it. So we kept it simple. We also created required tags or attributes for the Knut Nelson assets. So an attribute is a special tag that organize, organizations can define and use as a search feature. So after launching, we knew that we had robust searching options, but we found that the searches weren't filtered enough to the terms that we use as an organization to organize our assets. So in March of 2022, we committed to defining our attribute structure. So Media Valley provided an awesome worksheet to give us some framework to get us started. We decided to move forward with six required attributes that are common language for our team at Knut Nelson, and they are required upon any upload to Media Valley. So our required attributes are the brand, the department, the document type, the position or audience, an asset owner's first and last name, and also asset owner's title. So these individuals are also predefined as our own super users. So a simple rule for us is if you're not the owner of the document, you shouldn't be uploading or editing the document. You may use a document, but that is very different from owning the document. So attributes have been game changing for us. And the combination of these functions has increased our team's productivity, productivity and significantly enhanced the end user experience. It's great to hear about the use specifically with the features built into Media Valet. What have been the outcomes and benefits of using Reich and Media Valet together? Well, in short, hours and hours of time saved uh, and reallocation in a more productive way. So additionally, these tools have allowed us to produce better outcomes and higher quality products. So as we know, every organization is trying to find ways to be agile and nimble in today's environment of workforce and consumer demands. And together, these systems allow us to do just that. So one of the projects that we are really proud of is our annual collateral review. So there have been countless conversations over the years specific to what exists for each department, when the assets, asset was updated, how do we train a new employee on the assets that exist, and where can I find 
so-and-so document. And this can be so stressful and exhausting. So we went to the drawing board as a team, knowing the features of both Reich and Media Valley and said, how can we design a systematic process for finding all assets with specific attributes and how do we ensure we can review these on an annual basis? All of a sudden for our team, that was easy. Uh, so we built a blueprint in Reich for each division with a task to review existing collateral. We staggered the deadlines throughout the year and then deployed the project. In Media Valley, we created safe searches using the export using the attributes of the appropriate brand and division included any document type that existed. We exported that safe search link from Media Valley into the description area for the specific task in Reich. So when that to do task triggers, we can simply click the relevant link or access it in Media Valley to review all necessary assets. If a document requires an update, it can then be uploaded to Reich, edited and improved, and then re-uploaded to Media Valley as the most recent version. The same process can be used for training a new employee on the various assets that exist for each division. It's pretty awesome. And I could spend much of the day going through these use cases, but I'll leave you with that one being one of my favorites. Yeah, that is pretty awesome. I'd love to hear how much Media Valley and Reich have improved your processes and workload. Do you have any metrics you can share on the ROI of uh, Reich and Media Valley? Yeah, so early research indicated that a dam can reduce spent time spent searching by 75%. And with the proper structure and filters in place, this was absolutely true for us. So in fact, with pre-save searches set up for ourselves and for the end users, hours can easily cut down to seconds for us today. In early conservative estimations of our own, ester, our, our own ROI, we're about 30,000 hours saved on projects annually. So taking in, into account about 75 approximate leaders, four marketing team members, I estimated about 20 hours, $20 an hour per average, and about seven hours a week were spent searching in email or folder structures. And then we also factored in time to redo lost documents. So on a, a cost-wise, this is about an estimated $613,000 per year saved on cost, primarily staff time. So Reich and Media Valley offers several valuable data points to determine our success. There's no more guessing on what our teams are working on, what our timelines are, who's involved in the process, where our bottlenecks are occurring between our, within our workflows, utilization of specific assets, and so much more. So we have very robust reporting right at our fingertips. And a side note, not only do we use our reporting for efficiencies and process improvement, we also use the data as an opportunity for celebrations and recognitions of the work that our team is doing. The ROI can be demonstrated in so many ways. Yeah, those are some incredible, incredible numbers there. So what's the next step for Knut Nelson? So this is one of my favorite visuals that we use at Knut Nelson to help educate our teams on the customer experience journey. So it really doesn't matter if we're talking about our customers or, or our employees. Ensuring we provide the best experience to acquire and retain is key, and additionally being data-driven to demonstrate our value. So our goal at Knut Nelson is to continue to serve more and provide the best experience to our consumers. Our new reality, and likely for you too, is to do more with less. So how do we think differently? How do we unlearn what we know and are so comfortable with today? How do we best use technology to supplement the need for additional workforce? And how do we know that we're, we're being productive? So I read a data point recently that stated 80% of consumers are more likely to buy when businesses offer a personalized experience, 80%. So what does this have to do with Reich and Media Valley? Well, as I shared before, we invested in these tools to allow us to personalize our experiences making it as easy as possible for our teams and the end users and to make data-based decisions about our strategies. And because of this, we are doing more with less. We are now able to ad adapt to consumer demands faster in addition to scale as our industry grows by having the right tools to manage our work. So I hope that was helpful and I appreciate you having me today. Well, firstly, thank you so much, Sam, for your time with us on stage today. I hope everyone in the audience learned a thing about the past, present, and future of what Workforce and Media Valet can do together. Um, your team's been fantastic work with throughout this whole journey. And also, Brenda and the right team, I want to thank you again for your amazing partnership.
For everyone, please come by our booth if you do have any further questions and if you want to see a visual of Media Valet. Thank you, Samantha. Thank you, Jonathan. Thank you, Brenda. What a great story, indeed. Amazing to see Reich and Media Valet being used together at Mid Nelson. This tandem is so powerful and it is 100% better together. Samantha, thank you for sharing the story. I totally admire how you build the process and keep it evolving. Really love how you get most of it. Hope our audience enjoyed the fireside chat, found some valuable insights in it, and will consider using both Reich and Media Valley platforms together to get full control of digital asset production and management. Once again, thanks to our speakers today. Thanks to our audience. Thank you for attending the session. Please stay with us, visit Media Valley Partner Booth, ask your questions, and enjoy Collaborate 2022. Thank you and see you. Bye.